Hey there, Troy. Yeah, definitely an unfortunate situation involving this innocent mail carrier. And tonight we heard from Pearl Police on some more information about the suspect. They tell us that 20 year old Brandon Andrews was arrested and transported from Pearl Police to the Rankin County Detention Center where he faces multiple charges. An innocent postal worker struck in a chase. According to Pearl Police, officers were attempting to conduct a traffic stop for speeding on I-20 westbound just before 11 a.m. when 20-year-old Brandon Andrews, driving a Toyota Camry, did not pull over. The car hit him on the bumper part of the, uh, the bump on the mail truck. It flipped the truck. Pearl police say the suspect fled the crash scene but was quickly taken into custody. The postal worker was taken to UMMC for his injuries where he died. According to Hines County Coroner, it appears the carrier suffered blunt force head trauma after being ejected from the postal vehicle. The love of this community goes out to the uh, postman's family. Jackson City Councilman Kenneth Stokes has been vocal about car chases in the past. He has a message on what he hopes to see next. I'm asking for the president of the council to schedule a meeting with the surrounding cities and towns and see could we get a win-win to stop the chase and then Jackson. A USPS spokesperson releasing a statement about their employee who delivered mail with them since 2015, going on to say our thoughts and prayers are with his friends and co-workers at this time. And at this time, it's still we still do not know the name of that mail carrier, and it's also unclear the the uh, specifics on these person's charges, but we do know that MBI is currently handling the case. Reporting live, Kara Peters, 16 WAPT News. All right, Kara, thank you. Well, the mayor offered his condolences to the family of the postman who was killed. He also commented on chases in the city. He issued a statement saying in part that police pursuits that enter our city from multiple jurisdictions do not make us safer. There are often tragic outcomes like this one for minor traffic stops, and we've experienced it before. The mayor went on to say what often isn't considered is the effect that these pursuits have on innocent bystanders, and it's something we believe needs to be changed. Mayor Lumumba also said in the statement, we renew our request to the state legislature to restrict the offenses for which multi-jurisdictional pursuits can occur in the city of Jackson. Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones also reacting to the deadly incident with a social media post on Facebook. Sheriff Jones posted police chases are so dangerous and those that flee jeopardize the lives and safety of so many innocent lives. The sheriff goes on to say his heart goes out to the family, friends and co-workers of the UPS worker who was killed today.